You, what did you guys do? You just ran up here when you yeah. heard yeah, we, we just got done with the game. We heard about it. We ran over here. I fucked over there. We fucked it, man. We heard. We ran as we could. Man, we're going to make it, dude. We got championship. We're winning the finals. I don't care. LeBron's a man, dude. We did it, dude. We did it. Uh, dude. We well, no worries. I don't think anybody in Miami is actually going to start burning some... Uh, <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to start burning his uh, his jersey. The four years with, the, with LeBron, we're, we're very happy, you know, four Eastern Conferences, two championships, you know, it was fantastic. Uh, it's going to be, we're going to be very sad to lose him, but we understand, you know, he's got to go home, and, and I respect that. How about the tale of two cities there? First up, the folks in Cleveland, how about that young guy? So fired up as LeBron James is coming home and then resigned in Miami. Thanks, LeBron, for a couple of titles, four trips to the finals, and we say see you later, and we'll see how good and bad each team are already like i mentioned las vegas has made cleveland the early pick to win it all thanks to lebron's coming home there it is there was the instagram shot and you know twitter instagram blowing up as everybody's weighing in and it was sports illustrated by the way able to make the announcement because lebron james wrote an essay to them so they relayed it uh, why he's returning to northeast ohio where he grew up we have some special guests a little bit more on the reaction especially there in cleveland as there you see it one more time i'm coming home martin savage joins us now martin our colleague from cnn he's in cleveland what are the folks saying martin oh, hey mike it's good to be here i'm a clevelander look i'm here with all my my favorite cleveland people it is a great day in the city of cleveland i want to show you this look Darlene Willis, and look at this, she already has, and you kept, she kept this jersey, one of the few that survived the burning that took place, yeah. Yeah. and you're wearing it now with redemption yeah. in mind. Yes, I am. I love it, and I'm glad that he's coming back. Like I've said, he had to go away to learn how to win those rings. He won two rings. Now he can bring that information and education back so that the Cavs can start winning rings starting this year. You know, Darlene brings up a great point. You know, a lot of Clevelanders end up leaving, but we all miss the place, don't we? I mean, I can say this. I live in Atlanta now, but we miss Cleveland. LeBron, he just came to that realization. Exactly. I, was, I went away. I was in the military for 20 years and came back. So sometimes you're young, you have to leave, and then you come back, and you appreciate where you came from. So it's all forgiven? All forgiven, yeah. Yes, it is. Darling, by the way, was in line to get what? The first ticket of the it, season? The first game <laughs> I was in line to get. And what did they say? I have to get a season pass first before I can get the first game. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see if we can work out that, okay. Darling. Thanks very much. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> You're pretty excited here, Mike. And, and with very good reason. And it isn't about, you know, thinking of championship. That'd be nice. It's the fact that it's a hometown boy coming home where he belongs. That's yeah. really what means a lot to most people here hey, and because and let's show the footage again martin you've seen it the burning of the jerseys everybody's so upset when the favorite son left and went to miami and i've even seen already though forgiveness t-shirts being sold on ebay is that the feeling every it's forgive and forget let's go win one yeah you know in a lot of ways and, and now i guess i'm speaking from my cleveland hat as opposed to my reporter side and that is to <laughs> say you know when that announcement came a lot of people didn't so much feel that LeBron doesn't deserve to go wherever he, his talents take it. That's fine. I think it was the way it was announced. It was on national television. Cleveland got no heads up. And it really felt like, wow, that, that, talk about kicking a city on the way out, a city that's your home. So this time, the essay, many people take that very much to heart. The fact he's coming back for the reason that most Clevelanders live in the city, live where they do, it's about Cleveland, it's about raising your family. They love everything about LeBron. They especially love him even more now. You better believe. Look at this. You can't hide the smile on your face, Martin. You Clevelander. You're <laughs> loving it. No, I, and, and hey, and to your yeah. point, and I know you know this very well. I want to read just a little bit of the uh, essay. I, ha I have it here, and he says, "Our city has had that feeling, or has not had that feeling, in a long, long time." Talk about winning a championship. Fifty years. I want to bring in a, a special guest. Bob is with us. He's at Panini's Bar and Grill. It's one of the great sports bars there in Cleveland. Bob, do you have your jersey on? Uh, I'm out here at uh, Panini's on a patio, actually, right in the middle of downtown. Okay, and you got the LeBron jersey on? Is that right? Um, I don't have a LeBron. I got a Kyrie jersey Okay. On, but uh, I still have my LeBron jersey at home. <laughs> okay, how fired up were you when you got the word, he's coming uh, home? It was, uh, it's, it's still surreal. Uh, we can't uh, hear it in the city. We just we can't believe it. Everyone's partying downtown here. Um, everyone's coming down here to have a good time. Uh, you can probably hear it in the background. Uh, I actually had to step out of the bar because it was so loud in here. <laughs> I can hear the laughter. So it's like party time. 
It's not. A, it's a Friday, and it's a Friday when LeBron, the favorite son, returns home. Oh, uh, it's it's it, like I said, it's surreal. I mean, it, we were hoping this would happen, um, but you know, we couldn't bank on it because you know a lot could still happen. But it, it it's just surreal. I mean, we we can't believe it. All right, hey Bob. Everyone's, just, uh, everyone's having a good time downtown, partying it up. It's, <laughs> There you go. Well, with good reason. Enjoy yourself. Hey, Ken Carmen is oh, back know. with us. Great radio, sports radio talk show host. Ken, so we're getting a sense here uh, that's two different venues, a sports bar, Martin's downtown there. What about you? What are you seeing and hearing as people in Cleveland rejoice that the King's coming home? I'm sorry, say it again. Everyone just, uh, there was a bunch of fans came through with LeBron. <laughs> is that Bob? So is Ken Carmen with us? Ken, you there? All right, we'll try and get Ken on the line. Again, he's a great radio host. Bob, are you there with us? All right, so what we've a lot going on there in Cleveland. We're trying to hit it from every venue and just bring you, uh, bring you the uh, flavor of all of this. All right, well, we'll take a break as we get ourselves situated here, getting the reaction from Cleveland and the reaction from you. The best player on the planet, LeBron James, is going back to Cleveland. And, and think of this as we take a look in Cleveland. The fans so pumped up. They not only have LeBron, but Johnny Mansell. Johnny Football's there as well. 